Hi, thanks for uh, clicking on the video. And the whole reason why I'm doing this is to teach you how to use Photoshop. So I'll bring you through all the elements of the Creative Cloud version of Photoshop. I'm using a um, Windows version. Uh, I will indicate the differences for Mac for you if you're using a Mac. So you can watch this video whether you're using a Mac or a Windows machine. I will do a video every day for you and um, they'll be really short and easy hopefully to understand. If you have any questions you can leave them down in the comment se section and I will try to answer them before the next video. Alright here we go. So the first thing you want to do is open up your Creative Cloud Photoshop which I will do right now. And the very first thing I'm going to show you how to do is actually open a file. So this is what you may see. These are all of the files that I've used recently, so you probably will not have this list here. Okay, but it's nice because it tells you what files you've been using, um, when you opened them last, and what the sizes of the files are. So uh, it's a nice little guide for you. All right, so we're going to open a file. So now I set up a file folder on my desktop called Photoshop Bootcamp. And inside that, I um, placed a file for us to use in this first class. And I will uh, link that down below so that you can use this file as well and follow along. So I'm going to select that and open it up and it is just an image, right? All right, so let's just take a look at the board here so you kind of get an idea of what we are looking at. Um, over here we have a list of tools that you can use and you see these little arrows up here. You can rearrange them to make them easier for you to use or you can close them see these little lines right here you can pull this and have it floating for you so if it's if you want it over here you're able to move it around and customize what you're looking at now if you've by mistake pulled this out and you want to put it back the way it was you're just gonna grab it and you're gonna go over here see where the blue is let it go and there it is it's put back in the dock okay all right so at the top here is the menu bar, all right? And then right underneath that is the option bar. And this will change depending on uh, what you're doing uh, with your file. So right now I just have a uh, simple photo uh, and that layer of the photo is highlighted. This is the layer panel. We'll talk about that a little bit more later. Um, so because I've got this photo up, it's giving me some options up here. Okay, we'll talk more about what each of these little um, tools and options do for you. Uh, I just want you to get a, a feel for what you're seeing here. Okay, now if you take a look over here, that is your workspace menu. Okay, and then this is your panel or panels, depending on how many you have open. So by default, some of them will open. You can um, add more uh, or open others by going up to your um, window and opening up various panels here. Okay. All right, so that is your workspace right now. The very first thing I want to show you how to do is how to zoom in and zoom out. Pretty simple. Okay, so I have this large photo here. The thing I want to do is make sure that I've got that selected because I have two layers and we'll talk more about layers later, but this particular file has two layers and this is the background layer, which is black. And if I turn, you can hide it. You see the little eye here? So if you click on it, it hides it, and then you can show it again. And then this is the actual image layer, and that's what you want to click on is the image layer. Okay? So now there are, there are many different ways that you can do zoom. One of them down here 
you can see over here and if you're on a Mac you're going to see it on probably the image area like right at the bottom of the image area so on a PC it's in the lower left hand corner you can see that it's at 66 percent let's say I want to make it bigger I'm going to make it hundred percent so you can kind of see and it enlarges okay so uh, that's one way you can do that. Now let's make it a little smaller. All right, we're back to 50 instead of 60. Take a look over here in your toolbar and look for this little tool down here. It's a little magnifying glass. If you hover over it, you'll see it says zoom tool. And then in parentheses, it has a Z and that is your shortcut indicator. So if you actually hit the Z button, it will select that tool for you. Okay, so let's do that again. Here's my, I'm just going to put the cursor over here so you can see and now I'm going to hit the Z button and it's selected it. And when it's selected that, take a look at what the cursor looks like now. It is a little magnifying glass with a plus in the middle. All right, so now if I go over to my image and click on it, it increases it. See how much it increased it? I'm gonna click it again. It has increased it again. And you can keep increasing it. The largest amount of increase of zoom is 3200. And because this is an image, a photo, you're seeing the pixelations. Uh, okay. So that's what all these little squares are. Those are actually the pixelations of your bitmap picture, your photo. All right. So now let's bring it back down. 3,200 is the largest you can go. Let's go down back to 100. Okay, so that's big. Now let's say I want to make it smaller. So here, if you, you look again at my cursor, you see the little magnifying glass with a plus sign. If you're on Windows, you're going to hit the Alt key. You see how that uh, changed from a plus to a minus? If you're on a Mac, you're going to hit the Options key. All right, so now if you lift your finger up, it goes back to plus. So if you want to decrease the size of your image, you're going to hold down your key, whether it's the Alt key for Windows or the Option key for Mac. And then you're going to take your cursor and the mouse and just click, and it will reduce the size. It will keep reducing. Okay. All right, so as you can see, my favorite way of adjusting is just going down here and typing the number that I want. All right, now the other thing you wanna take a look at is something called Scrubby Zoom. All right, so if you take a look at Scrubby Zoom and see that it is selected, if it's not selected, please click on it, okay? Uh, and then you go over to your image and you move your mouse to the right, it enlarges. If you move your mouse to the left, it decreases. Move it to the right, enlarges. Move it to the left, it decreases. If you deselect Scrubby Zoom, and then you go over, and let's say you wanna enlarge this area. You can just select that area and it enlarges it. Now, take a look at over here. Click on Fit Screen. It fits it back in the screen. Then you have Fill Screen. It will fill your entire work area. So we'll go to Fit Screen so we can see things. So those are some ways that you can increase or decrease your image while you're working on it. And it's important to know how to do that because you may have to go in and clean up little bits and pieces. For example, like let's say I wanted to clean up this little area here, right? It's much easier when you zoom in. Okay, so I am going to 
select scrubby zoom again. And then when I want something at the default position while I'm working, I click this icon, which is the move tool. It just makes my life a lot easier. Um, that way, if you know, sometimes if you select some of these other tools and then you try to do something else, you forget that it's selected and you try to do something else, it will actually um, not do what you want and may do something that you don't want. So it, it's nice to just bring it back to the top here. The next thing I want to show you is how to use your contrasts. And we are going to take a look over here in your panels. And you see your light right here you see libraries then you see adjustments and styles so we're actually going to go over to the tab that says adjustments we're going to make sure the image is selected because that's what we are going to change and we're going to select brightness and contrast so let's say you have a picture off of your phone and you want to make it brighter or you want to increase the contrast a little so it looks um, more striking this is what you can do and what's nice with doing it here doing it here you're creating a layer that you can then go back and manipulate turn off uh, delete if you want uh, so it's a lot easier to kind of work with that way you're not actually changing the image itself Okay, so here we've got another layer that came in because we've clicked this and we're going to play around with the brightness and contrast. Okay, so if you use your brightness, you can see how the image is, I'm just going up and down, so you can see how the image changes. Okay. So I'm going to just leave it at, I think, 15. Just pump it up a little bit. Oops. 15. All right, so now let's take a look at our contrast. Look at what happens when I hit the contrast up and down. Get a much softer look here. Then it gets a little dark and dramatic. So you can use the slider or you can just simply double click the number and type in whatever you want. Okay. If you have trouble getting the exact number that you want, this is the easiest way to do it. I like to use fast, easy ways. All right, now if you're not sure how you want to do your brightness or, or your contrast, but you know it needs a little help, you can click auto. It will do it for you, and you can see what it's done here. Okay. This right here looks like a back arrow. That's the reset button. So those are the things I'm going to show you today. Um, what I'd like you to do if you have time is um, play around with the picture. Open it up, play around with your zoom, get comfortable with the zoom, and then uh, go and adjust the contrast and adjust the lighting. All right? If you have any questions so far, go ahead and post them below. I've done just a really simple overview of a couple of things and there were a lot of little details I haven't added in yet. We're going to go very slowly. So um, don't worry, we will cover everything for you. There were a lot of little icons that I didn't talk about. They will come in later. Okay? All right. Thanks for joining me and um, check back tomorrow because there'll be another one.